Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. If you could be so kind, take a moment, take a second out to uh, like the video, subscribe, share, uh, all that good stuff. And again, I'm trying to do my best to keep you guys uh, focus on reality one day at a time and see uh, where the unbiased effect uh, plays out uh, in real time. And that's the whole point of trading, not trying to figure out what's going to happen a month from now. Uh, the point of trading is trying to figure out where the data takes place that you could confirm and take advantage of the next uh, day. Again, market continues to uh, do very well. Okay, that's the best way of saying it. Uh, continues to do very well. Again, you, you could clearly see when we were emphasizing uh, the 50-day moving average uh, only a couple of weeks ago, what would be you know the initial thought of what we thought was going to happen. And obviously, the 50-day was a big deal. And since reclaiming the 50-day moving average, uh, the cues have gone from uh, this 471 level all the way up to uh, 486, which is uh, the highs from last Wednesday. And again, if you're a brand new trader, all these things, okay, these things were had to explain, be explained to me 12, 13 years from the time that I started trading. You guys have a, a, an incredible advantage of having social media, having the internet, having, you know, kind of a blueprint of to see what can happen if certain levels, especially technically, uh, get confirmed. So if you're a brand new trader, guys, just, just keep on writing this down until it, it's really embedded in your head. Above the 50-day is risk on, it's bullish. Uh, below the 50-day is risk off, is bearish, or, or using the word uh, sell cycle, uh, is obviously advantageous. Uh, market continues to reward the names that broke out uh, above the 50-day moving average. And you can see, uh, you know, again, just big, big moves. Uh, Meta, I think we've covered from nut to bolt uh, in the last couple of weeks. Big, big breakout continues to move higher. Uh, Amazon, exactly the same thing. Reclaim back the 50-day moving average has been on an absolute tear. Uh, you have names like Netflix, for example, has been over the 50-day moving average. Just It needs kind of a nudge, right? It needs kind of a nudge. We saw last week uh, they were coming in with 720s. Uh, but those expired. So maybe this is the week that if the market continues to hold, uh, it could finally uh, wake up. Uh, obviously, the big one uh, this week has been Tesla, right? Or even even last week. If you guys remember uh, last week, it finally got back above the 235 level, although it didn't follow through on Friday. I haven't had the big move. It did put in an inside day. Uh, today, reclaimed yesterday's channel and closed really, really well. Um, the interesting part about Tesla, not only the fact that it closed literally at the high of the day, 250 is literally the high of the day closed. At the close, they, they, I think they took out about 5.4 million shares. If you look at, uh, if you look at the volume here, this is at the close, they cleared out 5.5 million shares out on the small village that was sitting there at, uh, 250. But what's equally as impressive of is look at the, at the options market. If you look at the options market today, yeah, absolutely. You'll see, you know, 255, 260 weeklies come in. But the, the dominant views, right, the dominant bets came in the October, right, October 295, 300, and 305 calls. So, again, a lot of money being bet. On Tesla, and it's not just instant, you know, it's not just retail money, five thousand, ten thousand. These guys are coming three, four, five hundred grand uh, at a time. There was also a very, very big uh, buyer that came in for the ten eleven expiration for this uh, two fifty calls, uh, which were running him seven point four million dollars uh, into uh, into the wagers. So that's very, very big money coming in as well. Another interesting uh, stock that's having a lot of time. Um, holding on to the 50-day moving average, but the options market is dictating otherwise. We saw very, very curious bets today for the weekly uh, 120, 121 calls. Now, why is that interesting? Because, well, the stock is can't take out a previous day's channel. However, they're still coming in for uh, you know deep out-of-the-money calls. Again, think about this. Four or $5 out-of-the-money calls with now only four days left uh, till expiration is kind of curious. Again, Nvidia doesn't move, you know, ten, twelve dollars a day. It's a hundred sixteen dollars stock. 
But the fact that they're still buying those 120, 121 calls, especially into weakness, is kind of a big deal. Uh, the eye opener bet that came in on Nvidia is the December 126 call. So somebody bet $10 out of the money for 4.1 million. The reason why I bring this up is I, I want to watch Nvidia for the next couple of days. Sure, of course, it could lose the bottom channel here from last week and go lower. But I, I want to see some sort of sign of life here, okay? And, and it's very, very important. What I'd like to see happen is not necessarily take out the highs from two weeks ago. That would be the, the, the result of what I'm about to say. But I'd like to see NVIDIA kind of wake up in the next day or two and start taking out at least one or two days of upper channels. And once they do, when they finally start closing above the 50-day moving average, which much more um, uh, regularity, I think that's when the stock can, can go. But the idea that they're buying you know, four or $5 out of the money calls with four days left with some pretty decent bank as the stock is not cooperating. It's something that we have to uh, pay attention to, right? So the key going into tomorrow is not chasing the stocks that already had their big moves, right? Microsoft had their big moves. Uh, Apple had their big moves. Um, um, what else have their big moves? Uh, Meta had their big moves. We want to look at the stocks that are just finally coming out of their channels, so they potentially can go on their moves as well. So let me give you guys, uh, let me give you guys uh, some ideas for tomorrow because again, you really don't need to sit, sit there for twenty minutes talking about how good a market is. Now it's just rotation. It's coming out of uh, maybe one stock, two stocks that are holding there and sitting there and kind of digesting their recent run. And now you want to start concentrating on other names that are potentially coming out of this channel. So let me give you guys uh, some names for tomorrow. Uh, let's start off with MSTR, right? MSTR, uh, MSTR got above uh, the 50-day moving average on September 13th. And today it just got a little bit less than this macro channel. Guys, watch this MSTR, especially if Bitcoin starts waking up. We'll get to the pivots in a second. There was a nice little pop on MSTR today. Look at Netflix, right? We mentioned Netflix a couple of minutes ago. Keep an eye on Netflix. Guys, this is a long range, folks. This is a range going back almost two months now. Uh, it tried to bust out of this channel last week. It got a little bit rejected, but watch Netflix, especially if the options market starts you know, dictating some uh, deep out of the money calls. Definitely, definitely one to watch. Uh, look at AMD. AMD is also one of the very few names that are not all clear above supply. Although it's above the 50-day moving average, you could see it's having a little bit of tough, tough time getting above the 200-day moving average. So let's watch AMD for the next couple of days. It has held up in the last few days compared to the other semis that got a little bit of profit-taking. Uh, look at Zoom, right? A darling going back from uh, all the way the the COVID days. Uh, keep an eye on Zoom. If it could just get above this whole channel here, this is the first close above the 20-day supply. If it could get back above this channel here, this thing could really wake up. Keep an eye on that. Uh, look at Chipotle, right? Look at Chipotle. So Chipotle has been on a, a disgusting kind of, you know, disgusting unwind from June, right? When all, again, here's another example of losing the 50-day moving average. Uh, the stock went from 63 all the way down to 52. But now in the last two weeks, it's got above back the 50-day moving average. The last line of defense for the bears is the 100-day SMA. If Chipotle can get back above the 100-day SMA, this thing has room all the way up to 63. So that's, again, another name uh, you definitely want to uh, watch as well. Obviously, Tesla, uh, I know they have some weekly, uh, I know they have some weekly uh, China data coming out. I don't think it's as big as a deal as the monthly ones. I think it's coming out either tonight or tomorrow. But if Tesla can confirm today's channel tomorrow, folks, again, they're betting uh, not only for the you know 950, uh, 255, 260 weeklies, but those October calls are just fascinating. 295, 300, 305. So, I mean, that's deep, deep, uh, deep out of the money. So let's see if Tesla continue uh, for tomorrow. And for all of you meme lovers, right? Meme lovers, uh, GameStop. GameStop has been showing some life uh, in the last couple of days. As you can see here, it stopped here uh, on the 50-day moving average today. Uh, after the close, uh, there was a PR that came out that GameStop has completed it's at the money offering. Watch this thing for tomorrow. You know, who knows? Watch it. What happens if this, this starts confirming uh, the 50-day moving average? Maybe this thing wakes up as well. So there's a lot of names that are definitely looking uh, very, very good for tomorrow. Uh, here with the pivots today, 
Uh, here were the pivots for today. Uh, MSTR gave a nice little pop, uh, 149, 150, 15, uh, needs to confirm. A uh, nice pop, not a huge pop, but a nice little pop here. Uh, took out the 49, took out the 50, 15, traded all the way up to uh, 51, 60. Guys, watch the levels from August. If this thing confirms the, the, the levels from August in the next couple of days, uh, this thing is going to uh, wake up. Uh, Avago, uh, 172.50 and 173.30 pre-market highs needs to build. That was literally the high of the day, uh, 173.30. Uh, Cava had a nice little pop before the reversal, uh, 129.50 and 130 pre-market highs needs to build. Here was Cava, right? Here was uh, Cava, right? Took out the 129.50, 130, traded all the way up to 132 uh, before uh, reversal, uh, coin never got up there. Uh, the video gave a small little flush, uh, 1539 went down to 1480s, nothing big. But here were the, you know, here's the two that really went, uh, absolutely nuts. Uh, 245 on Tesla needs to confirm. It closed right at the highs of the day at 250. And I tell you, the point wise, the move of the day, uh, was right here, was, uh, in, uh, SMCI, 262. Uh, needs to confirm. Guys, look at this move on SMCI. Congratulations for you guys who took it. This was a little bit too thin for me, so I had to pass. But boy, oh boy, look at this move here. It took out this whole area here and traded all the way up to uh, 83. You got a $20 candle uh, basically on one interval. That is super uh, duper impressive. Uh, after the close, uh, Snow had an offering, uh, had an offering yeah, down a little bit, well, down about $3.00. Uh, from the close. But again, overall market structure is super healthy. Uh, the names, the leaders, the Magnificent Sevens has been com completely uh, torturing uh, and torturing the shorts. And now the question is, can there be the next line of movers, right? The next line of aggressive multi-day runners. Let's see if Tesla gets that next multi-day run. Let's see if NVIDIA starts waking up and starts catching up uh, to uh, to uh, the options market. We'll see what happens there. And names like AMD, uh, AMD, Zoom, Chipotle, et cetera, et cetera. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Nice to be back. There wasn't a weekend update. My kids, I, I had no idea my, my kids' schedule, uh, but they had both basketball games. One had one in Manhattan, no, two games in Manhattan, and then I had to drive to Jersey to pick up my son and take him for two games as well. Again, father's job is never done. Guys, God bless everybody. Hope everybody's well. Hope everybody's doing great. Hope everybody's healthy. And with God's will, I will see you on, on field tomorrow. Take care.